Well, good evening. Uh, my name is Pastor Aaron, and on behalf of all of us here at Cornerstone Church, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. We invite you to gather your family and join us for this short uh, time of worship together. We'd invite your family to get some candles so that at the end of the service, as we sing Silent Night, uh, you can light candles together and remember uh, the light of Christ. Well, let's begin as Anthony leads us in a song of joy. share a story with you this evening called Wombat Divine. It was the week before Christmas. Wombat loved Christmas 
He loved the carols and the candles, the presents and the pudding, but most of all, he loved the nativity play. For as long as he could remember, Wombat had wanted to be in the nativity. Now, at last, he was old enough to take part. So with his heart full of hope and his head full of dreams, he hurried along to the auditions. His friends were already there. Emu was bossing and fussing as usual. Now let's get started, she said. Who'd like to be the Archangel Gabriel? I would, said Wombat. But he was too heavy to be the Archangel Gabriel. Bilby was chosen instead. Bilby patted Wombat on the back. Never mind, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? What a good idea, said Emu. Now, who'd like to be Mary? I would, said Wombat. But he was too big to be Mary. Numbat was chosen instead. Numbat stroked Wombat's nose. There, there, Wombat. Don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? Right, said Emu. Now, who'd like to be one of the three kings? I would, said Wombat, but he was too short to be a king. The kangaroos were chosen instead. The kangaroos put their arms around Wombat. Cheer up, Wombat, don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? Wombat tried everything. He wanted to be Joseph, but he was too sleepy. He wanted to be the innkeeper but he was too clumsy. He wanted to be one of the shepherds, but he was too short-sighted. And then there were no parts left. Wombat hung his head and hoped he wouldn't cry. Suddenly, Bilby leaped into the air. I know, he shouted. You could be baby Jesus. Could I, asked Wombat? Could I really? Of course you could, Wombat, said Emu. Fancy my forgetting such an important part. A nativity without the baby Jesus is no nativity at all. Wombat was dizzy with pride. Christmas Eve arrived at last. Everyone was nervous except Wombat. He lay quiet and still throughout the whole performance. He even fell asleep just as a real baby would. On Christmas Day, when everyone was opening presents and eating pudding, they all agreed it was the best nativity ever. You were divine, Wombat, said Emu, and Wombat beamed. I hope you all will put Jesus in the center of your celebration this Christmas and we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Throughout this Advent season, uh, we have lit the Advent candle of hope and of peace and of love and of joy. Tonight, we light the center candle, which is the Christ candle which represents for us Jesus himself, who came on this night so that we might know hope and peace and love and joy. And so on this night, the promises are fulfilled. Not just the promises that have been made by the prophets of long ago, but the promise that had been made to Mary nine months earlier. During this Advent, we've been working on a memory verse uh, from Luke chapter 1, where Gabriel said to Mary, You will be with child and will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And so on this night, the promise is fulfilled and Mary and Joseph hold that little baby in their arms in wonder and awe that this is the promise fulfilled. 
No, there weren't many with them that night. But all of heaven rejoiced with them. And the heavenly host came nearby and, and said to some shepherds, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace upon those whom God favor rests. And so tonight, as your family celebrates this Christmas Eve, know that God's favor rests on you. That He has come so that you might know the joy of Christmas. Friends, will you pray with me? And so now, God, we ask that you would bring peace in every home, God, that the joy of Christmas might be felt. God, that we would know the good news Christ has come. Lord, bless every family in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, as Anthony leads us in Silent Night, uh, we encourage you to light your candle and let that light represent Jesus, the light of the world. And as a family, invite him uh, into your home on this night. Lord at thy birth 